So now that we have the home page, we're now going to need to assign a template for handling the internal pages. And so as you can see, um, we only have the index. And in fact, we're going to be changing this index uh, quite a bit. Let's start by adding the page.php file. And here, you're just going to um, go ahead and grab the header. So once again, um, the header, footer, sidebar, all of these can be found in the common WordPress directory. Um, So that's going to allow us to pull in everything that's inside of this header and then everything that's inside of this footer. So we're actually going to have this slider included. And we're going to break this up also and make it conditional. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and get a layout. So let's begin by creating our row. And now we are going to get our sidebar. And then let's define our body section. Okay, so now we need to create our sidebar. And inside of our sidebar, we're going to define an aside tag and give it an ID of sidebar. And we're going to give a class of three columns. So now, inside of our post content area, you can come here to your page.php and enter your loop. And for the sidebar, we're going to make this widgetized. And so we'll need to come over to our um, functions.php again. And here in functions.php, widgetization, define sidebar. So this is going to be for the sidebar and the footer. So we're going to add a dynamic sidebar here, sidebar here, a dynamic widget area here. So under the common WordPress display widget, and we're going to be displaying the sidebar. So now we'll refresh. And under the appearance, we now have widgets. Here's our sidebar widget. And I'll just put the categories there for now. So now when we go to the sample page, 